It's a breakthrough on new gun legislation. Senators say they have reached a tentative agreement on new gun safety laws. At this point, the deal is just a proposal, but it does have the support of 10 Republican senators. And the proposal includes funding that would encourage states to pass red flag laws, allowing criminal records to be searched during background checks for buyers younger than 21, and increasing funding for school security. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live to talk about this more. Bree, the president believes the framework falls short of what needs to be done. Yes, him and other Democrats believe that it does fall short of what needs to be done. But President Biden said in a statement he believes that this is a step in the right direction. Now, leaders hope to push any this agreement into law. Hopefully this month, 20 senators, including 10 Republicans, released a statement calling for the passage of it. This is potentially crucial because the biggest obstacle to enacting the measure is probably in the 50-50 Senate, where at least 10 GOP votes will be needed to attain the usual 60 vote threshold for approval. Now, the proposal would make the juvenile record of gun buyers under age 21 available when they undergo background checks. Also, the agreement would offer money to states to implement red flag laws that would make it easier to temporarily take guns from people considered potentially violent and to bolster school safety and mental health programs. It would also take other steps, including requiring more people who sell guns to obtain federal federal dealers licenses, which means they would have to conduct background checks of purchase purchasers. A local member of Moms Demand Action spoke out about this announcement. What do you think about the framework that was announced today? Obviously, it's not put into law yet. It was a monumental step forward for gun violence prevention. Um, the framework put forward is a great step in the right direction, and we know it will save lives. There's more that can always be done, but the meaningful action that we saw by the Senate today is something that hasn't happened in 26 years. Now, the NRA tweeted that they don't take position on framework, so they're going to take their position once they learn more about what this bill entails. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville. Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.